Hi, I'm Nancy Joy, and this is Weekly Reflections. I ran across something really moved me this week, and I'm excited to share it with you. I don't know about you guys, but after a while, I get I get kind of worn out hearing the metaphor over and over again about the caterpillar and the butterfly and how it gets all sticky and then reverses itself into a beautiful butterfly. And, and that's fine and good, but I've never truly related to that. And then I heard about the journey of another being in nature, another, uh, it's a bird actually, that just touched my soul, and that's the eagle. I have to say, I had no idea of the transformation of the eagle. So I'm going to tell you the eagle story briefly here and see if you vibrate and relate to it the way I do. Eagles can live to be up to 70 years old. But to do that, there comes a point in their lives where they have to make a choice. They have to make a decision. Around the age of 40 years, Eagle starts to age pretty badly and deteriorate. And his beak that could once uh, catch the prey is, is curving inward. No longer can he catch his prey. His talons that he could grasp and rip things apart um, become so that they, they become fairly useless to him anymore. And even his feathers as he age become so thick that he can't really fly. And at that point in time, every eagle decides if it's time for him to die or if he's going to go through the arduous process of transformation. At the time he decides this, he goes, flies to his nests in the mountains, wherever, and he goes through a, a five-month or 150-day process. The first thing he does is he starts beating his beak into the rock, a rock or tree and beats it and beats it until he can reach up and pluck the old beak off. Then he has to wait for the new beak to grow in, which is actually amazingly fast if you think about it. Then he must begin the process of pulling out each one of his talons with his new beak. And then the talons grow back new and stronger than ever. Then he must begin the third and final step where he uses his beak and his talons to pull out those heavy, deadweight feathers and wait then for his new feathers to come. And at the end of this time, at the end of the five months and the 150 days, he takes his inaugural flight of rebirth into his new reality. And I was just so moved by this, really on a cellular level, and I'll tell you why. Because it relates so much more to the journey we're all taking on our planet right now through the shift into the new reality than, um, than the butterfly does because the eagle makes a conscious choice. He chooses, I'm going to go through this or I'm not. I'm going to go to sleep and, and try, die. And so that's the one thing we do, right? At some point in our lives, we have the choice if we're going to wake up and look at uh, what's the true inner reality and stop creating what we've been programmed to create and create what we really desire. Um, peace, happiness, joy, thriving, um, energy, being loving everybody and everything. You know, it sounds like utopia, but I'll tell you what. Utopia is, is what is our truth. It is our truth. And yet we're led to believe you can't ever have that. And so Eagle shows us, yes, you can. But you have to be willing to beat away the old boxes that everybody wants to put you in. This is the translation, the metaphor. You have to be willing to um, beat them against a rock and shred them apart. And then you have to be patient enough to create a new reality based on your, your truth, your utopian beliefs, what your soul really wants. And you do that process three times. Well, that's a powerful number. You know, uh, in the Native American tradition, when you want to make a shift and a change, you go into silence for 72 hours, three days, the time of transformation. So Eagle is doing all these things consciously, and we want to say, as we're reading about this, oh, God, how painful. Can you imagine banging your beak against a rock and ripping out your fingernails <laughs> to whatever to create any reality? But it's kind of like giving birth. We're supposing that this is a horribly painful purpose. But Eagle, if, he, if he's anything conscious, which I'm sure he is, 
He's excited. It's, come on, let's get this old beet gone. I'm, I'm ready to regrow. I'm ready for the new growth. Like we are when we wake up and we decide we need to make changes in our lives. We need to respond to life differently. We need to get out of the boxes others have imposed on us and create our own. So that's short and sweet this week. I, I the, the written part's below here for all of you. And I just pass it on. And, you know, really thank you, Eagle. Because this is something in nature that right now on our lives, on our planet, I think we can all embrace. Um, so you, so it's time to just, you know, we've decided, most of us, if you're listening to this, you've probably already decided you are doing away with those old things. And the new things are growing and coming in for, for your flight. So have a great flight coming up. Enjoy your week. Think about these things and expand. And we'll see you again next week. Bye.